Ever since the 1940s, radar has been used to detect precipitation and storms. When you watch the news, the weather forecaster often refers to the station's Doppler radar. Doppler radar detects motion moving toward or away from the radar and the location of precipitation. Radar is important in the field of meteorology. Radar works by emitting beams of energy called radio waves from an antenna. As the radio waves hit objects in the atmosphere, energy is scattered in all directions with some energy reflected back to the radar. The larger an object, the more energy returned to the radar. The time it takes for the energy to be transmitted and returned determines the distance to that object. A radar sends signals out for about 7 seconds each hour. The remaining amount of time each hour is spent waiting for return signals. Radar images show reflectivity and velocity data. Reflectivity data allows us to see the strength and energy of the return signals, the size of a storm and how heavy the precipitation will be. Velocity data measures the Doppler shift of the returned energy, the pace of the storm, and can identify rotation, which could indicate tornadoes. Doppler shift tells us whether a storm is moving towards or away from the radar. National Weather Service Doppler radar uses dual polarization, which allows forecasters to clearly identify between rain, hail, snow, or ice pellets. Dual polarization can transmit and receive both horizontal and vertical pulses of energy. Developments like dual polarization have significantly improved the accuracy of radar to provide better weather forecasts. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Mr. Weather's World on YouTube for new videos every Mr. Weather Wednesday.